So have you ever found yourself in a high stakes meeting? Tensions are pretty high. People have their opinions and your heart starts to pound quite a bit. You, you feel yourself kind of winding up. What's happening in those moments is your emotions. And the question is, do your emotions take control and run you or do you have control over your emotions? That's what we really want to get into talking about today is how to better regulate, manage and control your emotions. Got a great team with me this morning. We're going to dive into this, share some of our personal stories and experiences about emotional control and why having a high EQ is an important thing. Gentlemen, how are we doing this morning? Fantastic. Fantastic. Doing amazing. So let's get into this. Um, I wanted to talk about this subject, especially for men. I think one of the things that, you know, we get put into this mix of not being emotional. We shouldn't be emotional. But obviously we are human. We do have emotions. But what we I think sometimes need to figure out is what are some of the better ways to be able to manage our tempers, our emotions. But I think even more importantly, expressing those emotions and those feelings because that's what we bottle up inside and i think those are the things that lead to heart attack and stress and, and, and ulcers and, and many many other things that can impact your health so uh, jerry i'll come to you first because you mentioned that you recently did a, a presentation talking about emotions and yeah um yeah the the presentation i actually titled it triggers um as opposed to, but the whole conversation was about emotions itself. Um, but why I named it triggers was because it's usually some sort of trigger. Sorry if my kids are screaming, um, but speaking of triggers, uh, that the triggers usually um, bring up some emotion. So it, it's some sort of sadness, anger, um, uh, which are the typically, you know, the typical two emotions, right? But there could be annoyance. Um, there could be, um, um, but it, it essentially they all boil down to fear. It's a uh, fear of something. Um, and if we can actually get to the place of actually capturing what triggers us into emotions, then we can get out ahead of the emotions that we usually suppress. Um, and what we talked about in the presentation yesterday was realizing that your emotions are kind of like uh, storms in the sky uh, or, you know, uh, storm clouds in the sky that uh, that they arise out of, you know, um, some sort of pressure causes those clouds to, to willow up and billow up and all this stuff. And then it becomes a storm. And also talk, we also talked about the idea of being able to recognize that you aren't the clouds, you are the sky. So you aren't the, you aren't the, um, you aren't those emotions. You're the one who's aware of the emotions. And so if you can learn to do that, then you're less likely to suppress those emotions. And by suppressing emotions, all we're doing is perpetuating <laughs> those same emotions we we stuff it down we like i'll come back to it later and we never come back to it and then it it ha because of all that pressure it has to come to the surface at some point and so that, that that's a lot of what we talked about and the reason why it came about was actually um one of my clients as y'all know i'm a manifestation coach so I, I teach people how to you know create the realities and stuff and one of my clients was having a lot of trouble um he was, he kept running into the same patterns over and over again, like, uh, uh, you know, constantly getting tickets. He's a truck driver, by the way, he was constantly getting tickets. He was going from one, one company to another company and, um, so on and so forth, other issues. And I, I had him spend a week understanding what triggers him good for good, for bad, for indifference, no, no matter what it is, I wanted him to start noticing that he, 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 these emotions that keep coming up for him are just habits. Like you're just habitually reacting to the circumstances of your life. And if you can get out ahead of it, you can then let those emotions come up and let them pass like clouds in the sky. Excellent. Yeah, no, and that's very true. And that's really what we want to talk about quite a bit today is the the management of the emotions is a lot of the times it's because it's not about not having emotions, you're going to have them, 
the question is, how do you manage those emotions when they do come up and, and, and work your way through it, and hopefully as constructively as you possibly can? Chris, I know you. we talked about this a little bit prior to, and I know uh, the last couple of years have been uh, some tumultuous times for you, some challenging times in different ways. So I know there's been kind of this emotional roller coaster that you've been on. Uh, what would you like to kind of open up with the audience and share maybe a little bit about what your journey has been like recently and, and the challenge you've had with kind of keeping those emotions wrangled in to a point where it wasn't really impacting you uh, day to day? I was thinking about this last night because I go through my standard pod prep. You know, I read over this, read over this synopsis and then I start to put together some data. Um, obviously, in this particular instance, a lot of this is um, from a personal perspective. So we're talking, you know, and you see, you have a story. I mean, God knows I got a story for everything. Um, but I think the thing that I, when, when I saw the subject matter come up, I immediately thought this is, this is one for me. But then as I kind of started to get into it a little, it's like, how am I going to literally share some of the experiences and what, what my mind sees and feels, um, at the end of the day and segue in through to how do I process? Um, Cause that's really what the, so one of the things I thought of was like, you know, as men, and I know this, we're not a, just necessarily a men's channel here. So we're, 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 we're for everybody. So let me say that before we get going. So somebody's like, well, you're not, you know, you're not addressing my needs. Um, at the, at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day, um, this is really um, how you deal with the, <clears throat> the challenges of your the day-to-day challenges of your life. Um, how does that hit you? Um, you, you know, obviously we're, I'm sitting in company where Brian, you've known me for 30 years. Um, I think the difference today is the challenges are still the challenges. They're not going away regardless. Now the difference is, is I've got, new tools in my toolbox to deal with the challenges. And I think that's part of it. I think that that's part of it later on, but to begin with, it's recognizing that you have these challenges, recognizing that um, in today's society, um, men are a little more ready to admit that we have, we have emotions and they sometimes trip us up. I think I went through a lot of, I think I went through many, many years where I was, I don't think I was consciously in denial, but I was in denial.